Hey Matt, my name is Erin. I'm with Duff Digital Marketing and I had spoken with your receptionist on the phone last week. So as promised, I'm shooting this short video for you all just to give you a few tips on how to help grow your business online. And I will keep this short, but if by the end of the video you can tell that that is certainly something that we specialize in and that's something that you're interested in doing for your business, please reach out to us and we can chat. And if not, no worries. I hope you're able to take these tips I'll give you and put them into action. The only thing I do ask, if you don't mind, would just be to give me some feedback on this video and let me know if it was helpful. But the three things we'll be going over will be content, citations, and backlinks. So first up is content, and I wasn't able to locate a website for Global Fence and Gate LLC, so in the interest of speaking about content, we'll look at this top ranking one um, in the organic section on Google here. So content is going to be considered anything you can see on the site here. It does include the words, but also the pictures and what the pictures are saved as. And Google wants to see about 1,500 words on the homepage of a website. But within those 1500 words, that gives you all the opportunity to be able to integrate in keywords that people are searching when they're looking for fencing. So my first suggestion would definitely be, if it's not something that's already in the works for you all, to get a website. Um, not only does it serve as like a digital business card for you, but it truly is the first step in getting ranked on Google and also the first step in really laying a good foundation for your business online. So with that, we'll go back to the search results here and we will go over the next thing, which will be citations. And citations have a lot to do with this section. This is called the organic section. And a citation is basically your business name, address, and phone number listed in various directories throughout the web. And when I say directory, I mean things like Facebook, LinkedIn, Yelp, Yellow Pages, really anywhere else that will allow a business to enter those kinds of details. So you all would want to check out where your competition is being listed within those directories and you want to get those same listings for your business. But then you want to double, triple, quadruple where you're found. So for instance, if your top competitor online has, let's say, 10 directory listings, you want to grab those same 10, but then you want to go out and find an additional 20, 30, 40 places to list your business. That's gonna have you completely dominating your competition in that space, but it will also help you to rank high on the map section here. So moving on to backlinks, and backlinks have a lot to do with this section. This is called the organic section. And the way that backlinks work is there is a website out there that has a link to your website if and when you decide to get one. And it's pushing power to your site, but it's also potentially driving traffic to it but not all backlinks are created equal. So let's say that you did some work for someone who owns an ice cream shop and they've decided they're going to take a link from their site and push one back to yours, but their link's going to be all about ice cream. So it's not gonna be very helpful. You would wanna get links from other fencing companies and that will send something back to your site which will signal to Google that that is the industry that you're in. And because of that, it's gonna be a lot more powerful but also more unique in Google's eyes. And this is one of the tools that I use here, just so I can give you a visual representation of all that I'm talking about. This is for the website that we just looked at, and it's showing currently they have 12 referring domains, which are giving them 64 backlinks, getting them found for one keyword, but none of this is driving any traffic toward their site. And this is the number one ranking site on that first page of Google. So they wouldn't be very difficult to beat out at all. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. And like I said, if you do decide to get a website, um, that's gonna really kind of start your um, journey to the top here because this is not gonna be hard for you to beat out at all. But truly in order to beat out your competition, you just wanna make sure that you're being found in a lot of the same places they are. But as I said earlier, also, always adding on to that. That way you're staying a step or 10 ahead of your competition at all times. And that is truly the kind of thing that will get you on this first page. But that is all that I have for you today, Matt. I do hope that this video was helpful. And if you would like more information about Duff Digital Marketing and how we can help grow your business via your online presence, please contact us. We would love to talk to you. But thanks again for your time and you have a great rest of your day.